In this video I will show you <coughs> how to make tea and syrup from bay leaf against cough and what else cures laurel. <coughs> Boil bay leaves, drink liquid, get rid of cough and many diseases. It is not uncommon that when you go to the doctor you get a recommendation to use some medical herb or tea. But doctors rarely recommend these leaves because they are treated as a spice in our country. Despite the fact that they are primarily used in cooking, bay leaves have many health benefits. Admirers of folk medicine treat everything with laurel from cough to bunion. Bay leaf is known for its ability to protect the body from oxidative stress and help treat diabetes. It has been proven to be beneficial for relaxation and against migraines. It can also contribute to improving your heart health, reducing inflammation, relieving cough and respiratory problems and for optimal digestion. Bay leaf extract has a number of medicinal uses. It is popular in aromatherapy and herbal treatments for various skin, hair and respiratory conditions. Tea made from bay leaves is the simplest way how can we afford valuable ingredients from this plant. Many have only words of praise and positive experiences with bay leaf tea or of course bay leaf syrup is very good when it comes to soothing cough. It has really proven to be an effective tool for this purpose. Inhalation of vapors also has a good effect on respiratory infections. It releases mucus and suppresses bacteria in the airways. Previous research has shown that the use of bay leaf is associated with improved insulin receptor function and the regulation of blood sugar level. For people who are at risk of developing diabetes, as well as for those who have already developed this condition, bay leaf tea can significantly reduce the chances of disease progression. One of the main properties of floral is that it reduces inflammation through through the body. This effect is achieved when applied topically to inflammate areas outside, but also if used as a tea or spice. Bay leaf contains enzymes which help break down proteins, digest food faster and calm indigestion. Now we can also imagine whether the bay leaf is added to the beans just for the sake of smell or also for easier digestion. Laurel tea is also used if you lose appetite. So how to make laurel tea? Pour 500 milliliters of water and approximately 6 bay leaves into the sherpa. When it boils, let it cook for a few more minutes, then remove, cover and let stand for a while. After 15 minutes, strain. Lemon and honey can be added to strained and cooled tea. And try to drink 2 cups a day. And how to make a laurel syrup? Approximately the same, but instead of 6 leaves, add more. Mm, 12 will be good. Bring to the boil, reduce the temperature and simmer for another 5 minutes. Someone makes it with sugar but uh, I opted out for honey, because I think it's much healthier. Strain the liquid and allow to cool. So add 150 grams of homemade honey to the cooled liquid. Add 
add the juice of one squeezed lemon. Stir until the honey melts well. Pour the syrup into a jar and store it in the refrigerator. As for dosing, the recommended daily dose is 2 to 3. If you like this video, I will be very happy for your thumbs up and don't hesitate to write me in the comments below if you have also some homemade remedy tip how to increase your health and feel very fit. Thank you for watching my video and see you soon! In the next video, I will show you amazing herbs that have great effects on your health and that should definitely not be missing in your kitchen. When they are used properly, you will undeniably improve your health and overall well-being, because their effects are really beneficial. I will show you which herbs I mean, what effects are and how you can grow them yourself at home and it will be in the following video. So don't forget to watch and don't hesitate to write me in the comments below if you have your favorite herb and how do you use it. Mm -hmm.